Do you think there is a disconnect between uh, the mining world or the, the natural resource world and the rest of the world or the general population, whether that be in Canada, but also uh, yes. in, in any other area you've worked? There is. Um, in a couple of areas. One is the, the, on the side of the mining world itself, the miners, we have done a very poor job at explaining what we do. We've also done a very poor job in, I would say, acting responsibly in a number of situations in a number of areas. Much of that is historical, but the legacy stays with us in our, in our image with the public. And um, we, we at Lundin, we, <laughs> rule number one is we can't be successful as the community not only puts up with us, but actually supports us. And there's a really strong link between environmental approvals and public support or lack thereof. So it's a big deal. Um, the level of knowledge of uh, the public is very low. Uh, typically the image of mining that the public has is uh, mining uh, 50 or 100 years ago. So uh, all of our operations, we have public tours. Uh, regular public tours. We, we really encourage spouses, teachers from the public school system, uh, local politicians, uh, regulatory authorities to come and meet us and we, we take them out. And it's total transparency. And that's the other part of, you know, I say winning the public's trust is transparency. Yeah. We don't do enough of that. There's, you can't hide anything, it's like Volkswagen trying to hide. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. You, it, it. If you can't, if you're not willing to have it on the table for all to see, well then mm -hmm. you need to think about doing things a different way. And that, you'd say, was, is still a, of an issue for many mining companies. It they're is not, still. They're not enough. There's not enough transparency. Okay. And, you know, recently the government's introduced the legislation, well, re strengthened regis legislation on bribery and corruption, the, the, the mm -hmm. ABC, Anti-Bribery and Corruption Act. There's the Transparency Act that's going into, uh, uh, into effect uh, in 20, the start of 2016, which, whereby you have to disclose any payment in Canada or anywhere in, you work in the world to any, any government uh, or near government. Uh, group, even First Nations, and then lastly, there's a whistle whistleblowers act that's in just still being formulated it's in the public consultation. Hmm. 